Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hemant Goel and today we calculate the torque required for electric vehicle. So let's start. Firstly we need efficiency which is 85%. Uh, these values I explained in my previous video. Efficiency equals to power output divided by power input now power output equals to efficiency into power input power output equals to torque into unit angular speed efficiency 0 0.85 to power last video power comes equals to 1458 watt so we use this power Five eight oh. omega equals to two pi r two pi and two rpm divided by six now oh. two into three point one four into last time rpm comes in nine forty one nine forty one divided by six to 98.49 the value of mega now torque equals to 0 0.85 into 1458 divided by omega 98.49 is equals to 12.5 newton this is the value of torque that is required for a vehicle or we directly find it a simple method we take one newton meter equals to 10 kg so for 111 kg value comes to 11.1 newton meter which is close to this value. So this this value is approximation value. Now, if you don't know about power, that is this, then torque will be calculated as torque equals to radius into force. Now what is force is equals to mass into acceleration? Mass is triple one acceleration. Now how to find acceleration? What is acceleration? Acceleration equals to velocity upon time. Last time velocity equals to uh, 45 meter uh, kilometer per hour. So acceleration is n0 to 45 km per hour let it be 15 seconds from 0 to 45 it takes 15 seconds therefore 12.5 meter per second takes 15 seconds 12.5 divided by 15 equals to 0 0.83 so this is the value of acceleration acceleration equals to 0 0.83 meter per second square this value this value is used in here 0 0.83 is equal to 92.5 newton this is the force now radius of the vehicle in last video i get the radius equals to 0 0.127 meter so use this 0 0.127 into force 92.5 equals to 11.7 newton meter so value of torque is approximately equals to these values
so these are the calculations for torque if you have power then use this if you don't have any power or any other values use this okay friends if you like this video please subscribe my channel and for any queries please comment this video is on batteries connections or battery calculations that how to decide the size of battery how to decide the ampere in battery okay friends goodbye have a nice day